What in the hell is this? This is upstairs. Bro. <laughs> to this. Dude. I mean look at that, bro. I mean, what the heck? This is this month's challenge. My favorite part about this is this, bro. Like that? Give it a kiss, bro! <laughs> Jorge. This is beautiful. Thank this you. this is an excellent, excellent job. You know what I'm gonna do? I just wanna go through this and just kick all these flipping balloons, bro! So, we've got February's challenge. And the way that this is gonna work is my brother, Greg Salo, he's gonna have to pick a number of balloons. The balloons that he has to pick, let me just show you real quick. They gotta have a face on them. And inside, there's a note. On that note is some information. He's gonna have to build, create, use his professionalism to do a set of nails. And he's got no choice. He's gotta do it. This is the challenge. Bro, how you feeling right now, dude? Talk to me. What Man. are you feeling? Scared? Just friggin' get ready. I mean, just get ready to Check that out, bro. Me. Check that out, bro. Check that out, bro. <laughs> All right, dude, go ahead and grab the balloons. <laughs> okay, numero uno, nice. <laughs> this is insane. I love this, oh my God. So three, four. Five. So we're gonna pop and we're gonna see. Ah! I'm scared! Oh my gosh! Nice. Alright, so here's a bunch of notes here. I'll help you. Slick pour Irie Blitz. Gold Zebra Confetti. Party Ninja. Use Pantone 2021 colors. What? Okay. <laughs> Create a smile line. Okay. So you have to incorporate all of all of that into your set. You can do it however you want, bro. Use your imagination and your creative skills. What are Pantone 2000? I just look it up. 2021. The, the 2021 color oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pantone. It was, it was the gray and yellow. It's the gray and yellow, exactly. Which it's actually pretty cool. So you have to somehow use a gray and a yellow with the rest of these colors. Isn't that right, Jorge? Yes. Okay, to create the set, bro. How you feeling right now? You pumped? I mean, I'm pumped. And how cool am I? <laughs> Very. Listen, bro. After this set, we're gonna see how cool you are. I'm excited. Um, I'm more excited about these balloons. Can we keep the balloons, Jorge? Oh, yeah. We'll Let's keep the balloons. I'm gonna swim in them, I'm gonna dance in them, I'm gonna like just get a little cray cray up in the balloons. And meanwhile, Greg is gonna get the set going. Should we do a chair, bro, to get it, get it all set off? Hands in the middle. Oh! <laughs> Given a challenge, I popped five balloons and I got basically five pieces of paper with different products that I have to use to create this look. So let me show you what I have. I have Pantone 2021 colors and I'm going to be using neon yellow 101 and gray denim gloss. Gray and yellow are the Pantone colors for 2021. I'm going to be using Irie Blitz. This is a, as you can see, this is a holographic style of glitter. Um, I'm gonna be using Party Ninja. All right, so 
Party Ninja, as you can see, is this really intense type of a, a confetti, right? Um, really, really pretty. Um, gold zebra <laughs> confetti. Gold zebra confetti. Okay, so these large particles of gold zebra confetti. And uh, I have to incorporate at least a couple nails, as you guys can see, with a smile line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a combination between smile lines and a full nail using Cover Cherry Blossom, all right? I'm gonna be using Cover Cherry Blossom to create the smile line, as well as the full sets. Uh, I'm going to be taking Party Ninja and I'm going to be mixing it with Irie Blitz to make a custom glitter mix. Um, and we're gonna put it all together and see how this turns out. Let's get ready to rock and roll. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to clip off all of these tips, right? Because we're gonna do, we're gonna do some sculptured nails. And so I have to reduce the length of these. Just come in, I'm going to use a curved toenail clipper so that I can kind of keep these edges to a point. Boom, all right. And then once we're done doing that, I'm going to take my hand file and just kind of round off the edges. And so the form is going to fit really nice and tight. Let's go ahead and come in and round these off. And what I need to do is I need to prepare these for the application, okay? So my idea for this set is to put smile lines on the index finger and the ring finger and then leave the other ones for some of the other color. Okay, so as soon as I'm done rounding off the edges, I'm going to take an arbor band. I'm gonna prepare the natural nail. So what we wanna be able to do is we wanna be able to gently remove shine and gently remove shine from the surface of the nails. I like to start around one edge and lightly feather the shine away from corner to corner. We'll give you a good understanding on how long it actually takes me to remove shine. As you guys can see, I have a pattern that I work through. I like to work around the perimeter of the nail, around the cuticle area, then I start from one corner and I follow all the way from this point to this point. Okay. Once I'm done removing shine from the surface of the nail, I'm gonna be using swipe to cleanse the surface and get it ready for protein bond application. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to be using Protein Bond, right? So if I was doing a regular set, what I like to do is go through and apply one coat on all 10 nails. And then as soon as I'm done doing that, I'll come back and add my second coat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build my smile lines out first. And the reason why I wanna be able to build my smile lines out first is because I don't need to put forms on the nails. I can get right into the application. So I'm gonna be doing the index finger as well as the ring finger. Once I'm done building the body, I'm gonna let those dry. Then I can focus on the rest of the nails to actually build out the structure. And then once I'm done doing that, the smile lines will be dry enough for me to go in and file them into perfection. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Cover Cherry Blossom. So I'm gonna to try to build a couple even smile lines on here. What I wanna be able to do is get a really nice bead. Then I like to hold it for a couple of seconds before I set this to the cuticle area, release it, then use the tip of my brush to gently walk around the perimeter of the nail while the bead is running down 
towards the center. So right when it gets to about that point, I'm gonna be using the wedge of my brush just to tuck it back, wiping my brush. And then what we wanna be able to do is just control the run, right? So it's gonna to wanna to run past, and as you can see, I'm using the tip of my brush, and I'm just tucking everything back. I'm being very patient. And I don't have to worry about the perimeter anymore. All I wanna be able to do is just constantly poke at the smile line using the wedge and the tip of the brush just to keep the smile line in the perfect place. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get another bead for the ring finger. Again, I'm gonna hold it for a couple of seconds. Usually count about three to four before I actually set this down. And then when I release it, it's gonna be a slow roll towards the tip. This gives me enough time to tap around the edge. And then as it starts to flow down, all I'm doing is using right, the wedge of my brush to tuck it back. Every time I come from corner to center, I wipe my brush and then I work it back from corner to center, wipe my brush, just holding the bead from rolling over the edges, all right? Now what I'm gonna do before I actually get into building the other nails is I'm going to take a combination of those two products and I'm gonna mix them perfectly together. Party Ninja and Irie Blitz, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take an empty container I'm going to take Irie Blitz. I'm just going to mix, I'd say about two thirds. And then let's go ahead and take Party Ninja, pour the rest of this into here. Right. Go ahead and mix this together. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna be using this color combination to do my free edges for the smile line. So one of the things you can do is you can take your hand file, right? And I can just kind of run it along the smile just to make sure that we're going to have really sharp ledges, all right? So I'm gonna do that on that finger. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite just to make sure that our edges are going to be razor sharp. I'm get, looking bird's eye view. As I'm coming around from corner to corner, you can see the ears of the smile line. What I'm doing is just following around just to make sure that we're going to have it absolutely perfect. Now, since we've actually have the smile lines perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and put forms and use Irie Blitz and Party Ninja Mix uh, to create those free edges. All right, and what I'm gonna do is we're going to take the zebra confetti and we need a couple of pieces, one for each nail. Now, it's really important to understand that the design on the confetti can actually melt away if you're going to be placing it down with any type of solvent, right, or nail liquid. So what I'm going to do, as soon as I'm done building the free edge, I'm gonna be using a wax tool to pick it up and set it into the center of the tip, and that way when I cap it with clear, the design is going to stay on the confetti piece. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take our mix, all right, and then I'm going to set this right to the edge. Boom. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hold this into place. Hold this into place. Like that's one of the things too, if you're working with a slick pour color, since it is a really, really fine glitter mix, sometimes it has a tendency to get away from you. Don't worry, all you have to do is just juggle it up. See like I'm doing, juggling it up making sure that I'm getting all the way to the smile line. And then I'm, I'm trying to recreate, again, that shape, right? We wanna be able to create that nice almond shape. So I'm bringing it right to the edge. 
So what you can do, just juggle it up, trying to keep a majority of the glitter all the way to the edge. And then when it is soft, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and take my wax tool, I'm gonna pick this up, and what we're going to do is we're just going to place it right in the middle, just like that. And I'm going to press that as deep as we possibly can, so we don't file into it. And then I can kind of use the, the edge of the brush just to kind of walk it from the sides. Boom. Once I've done that, I'm going to be using Speed Clear to cap it. Let that kind of just self level into place. Need just a hair more. I don't want to overwork it. All I want to do is just set it into place. And that way it caps the confetti inside the tip. We're gonna let these set, then we're gonna file it into perfection before we finish off the design with the remaining colors. All right, so the first thing we need to do before we actually finish off this set with the Pantone colors is I need to make sure that I'm gonna be protein bonding the nail so that not only the top coat, but the color does not chip away from the cuticle or the surface of the enhancement. So I'm gonna come through and make sure that we put a nice coat of protein bond all the way through. This is also, if you have a little bit of space around any of the edges, what the protein bond will do is it'll create an anchor so the gel polish can fill those spaces and anchor to the natural nail, preventing any lifting or chipping. But what I'm gonna do is take Neon Yellow 101 and I am going to place this right here on the tips, all right? So I need to make sure that we have this deep enough on the edges. And I'm going to take my makeup brush and just right at, just kind of at that line of demarcation, I'm just kind of working it into the body, just right here just to make it look like a kind of a natural fade. I don't want it to be a harsh line. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're gonna get that inside the light. I'm just gonna set it for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to take the gray denim 101. Nice thing about this is the coverage of this product. So you're going to notice that when I'm actually pulling through the body, All right, I'm gonna have great coverage, but once I actually cover the whole entire nail, I could use kind of a wipe and just kind of lightly dab off some of the excess right here. And then just use this brush just to kind of just lightly kind of drag through. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we come all the way through just because I want just a highlight of yellow at the tip. So it's gonna mask it, but you can see just a little bit of yellow on the free edge. If you wanna show a little bit more, what I do recommend is pulling off some of the excess off of the brush, then using the tip of the brush just to kind of work it back you can see way more of that yellow exposed. All right, I'm gonna place the finished gel over the top. And you guys are gonna see what I was able to do with the random picks out of the balloons. Challenge is complete. Greg has popped many a balloon. He has taken the items from the balloon and made a beautiful set. Greg, what'd you think of this challenge, bro? Thoughts? It was fun. 
You know, I mean, uh, anytime I'm doing a set, I'm gonna make it <laughs> fun. And? Fun. And? Fun. Lots of fun for Greg Solo. <laughs> you did make it fun, and the whole challenge was a lot of fun. I mean, this whole entire floor was filled with balloons. That was probably my favorite part of the challenge, to be honest with you. I just, I started diving in and like getting crazy backstrokes, bro. Heckle and Jekyll, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's talk about the set, dude. This is, it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Uh, you have no control over the products. You had to pick and then take the Pantone, which is a grain of yellow. What gave you the most issues, would you say, as far as like color or design or item? Anything give you like kind of a problem? Uh, I was trying to figure out what to do with that yellow. <laughs> yes, yellow is tough, man. Yellow is a tough color to incorporate. And I didn't want to, I mean, for me, it was trying to create a, it was like a dirty ombre. Yeah, I, was trying to, I love it. And it worked out, so. Dude, those smile lines are so insanely sharp. It's like, I mean, that's part of your expertise is smile lines. So that was, that was probably a nice one to get. Yeah, yeah that, was, that was cool. Yeah. And, and then the zebra confetti is like. Right in the center, free yeah. edge. It's perfect, bro. Here's some stuff that you could have gotten. Marble Defect with watercolor, plus two of Tracy's favorite glitters, rhinestones, my socks as inspo, bro, and Tracy's shoes. So never know, next time we might throw that in, but I think you got away easy, because if you got to use, dude, look at these socks, bro. You got to use purple and then Tracy's shoes as inspo, you would have been in trouble. Been in trouble, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but you did a really, really great job. And most of all, you played along nice. You walked into 10,000 balloons and uh, made the set work. I love it. Great job. Thanks. If you have any challenge ideas for us, please, in the comments below, let us know and we're gonna read the comments and we're gonna execute on those challenges. We want ideas. What do you guys wanna see coming soon? Greg versus Tracy battle. We will have that in the upcoming months. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna take it? Habib will take it. I'm not even gonna be in the competition, but I'm gonna win. I'm just gonna raise my hand. <laughs> For winner, winner. I'm just gonna pretend I'm holding a trophy right now. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Thank you, bro. Awesome set and we'll see you next time.